Hey there, my YouTube friends and family. Happy Holidays. Well, it is not quite Thanksgiving yet. It is now... Well, I guess it is officially now Thanksgiving. It's 1.04 a.m. Thanksgiving morning. And, uh... I was going to do this video tomorrow and uh, show you guys what I decided to uh, EDC for the Thanksgiving holiday at the in-laws. Um... But I found out that they're going to be here about 7 a.m. And I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get up, get the family and the two kids ready, and uh, film a video, get it uploaded, especially since it's been taking so much longer uh, lately to upload videos. So I figured why not shoot it tonight, get it uploading uh, throughout the night, and uh, hopefully it'll be there tomorrow morning for you guys. So first off, I'm going to show you uh, just a basic uh, rundown of what I'll be carrying. Of course I'm not going to be carrying all of these. I know my pants will be falling down and I'll have knives dangling around everywhere and you know fall in each pocket. Um, but I am in sort of a predicament. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to carry. Um, holidays I like to switch it up. I like to carry something special. Uh, something I don't carry very often. And for the most part, um, aside for you know these newer knives, um, a lot of these don't get carried too much. Uh, my Spyderco Super Leaf. This is one of my most babied knives. I absolutely love this knife. Uh, one of my all-time favorites. It's not an expensive knife, um, but I love it. The VG10 is just absolutely gorgeous. There's not a speck on this thing. Just a little smudgy right now from uh, me flipping it, but I absolutely love this knife. So uh, this is a Safe Queen. You guys might call me dumb. It's only a you know 115, 120 dollar knife. Um, it's discontinued, but you can still find them. But to me, uh, I love it, and I don't want nothing happen to it, and uh, I won't be able to replace it. So this is a safe queen, so I don't really carry this too much. So I'm thinking about carrying her tomorrow. Um, aside from that, on holidays, I, I do like to switch it up and have, you know, a medium or at, at least a smaller knife, and, and then, you know, uh, two, maybe three, depending um, uh, on the purpose, the day, who I'm going to be around, uh, you know, I, I may carry two or three other ones. Uh, but for the most part, I, I usually carry around three or four knives. Don't ask me why, that's just my system, and uh, that that's how I like to do it. So uh, let's jump into what I most likely will be carrying tomorrow. Uh, for my small knife, I'm at a toss-up between the Victorinox and the Kiwi 3. I love the Kiwi 3, but I think I'm going to go with the, the new Victorinox. I'm not sure what model this is. It's not on it. Uh, I'll put it in the description for you guys. Actually, it may say it right here. No. Officer Swiss. So I think this is the uh, maybe the Swiss Officer model. Not positive on that. I'll let you guys know, but I really love this knife. Um, got this from Budget Bug Out as an extra in his giveaway, and I absolutely love it. So I'll most likely be carrying this tomorrow. Very uh, non-intimidating to whip this out. And it actually has a very nice size blade. Uh, a couple other uh, cool tools on it as well. Really, really dig this Victorinox. Had to fight my wife off from this one. I wasn't giving this one up. Uh, so most likely that will be in the pocket. Next up, um, uh, this is where I'm at an impasse. I really wanted to carry... Uh, the Rexford uh, design injection 3.5 I really love this knife and I don't carry it too much um, it's just a, a cool knife very gentlemanly and you know the holidays I like to you know you don't want to carry um, some people might but I, I don't want to go to my in-laws house with a you know a, a big tactical folder in the pocket I want to have something comfortable something that I can you know play with if I have to and not look like a, a complete you know crazy person flipping out a sword on the couch uh, to people that don't carry knives you know how that is and uh, last thing I want is the in-laws thinking I'm some crazy knife nut uh, well I guess after 10 years it really doesn't matter anymore they can't get rid of me but point is uh, it's already hard enough dealing with those people so, uh, I, I think I might take this, I'm not sure, still at a, uh, not very comfortable in carry. I'm going to talk about that in the, uh, in the review of this. Uh, next 
I love, I absolutely love my uh, Lambert Shockwave. It is a little beefy, uh, but I like that. I like having, you know, a, a larger knife on hand just in case. Um, you never know. You never know, you never know. That's my motto I live by. You never know, you never know. So if you never know, you never know. See, that's my problem with it. This thing has such a sticky detent. It's so hard to get it going. I've greased it. I've loosened it up. Um, once you get it out, it's relatively smooth, but it's that getting it out, you really got to put some thumb behind it. And uh, I've chipped my thumbnail quite a few times, and my thumb kind of hurts. <laughs> uh, next up, I'm thinking about taking the Scrambler. I absolutely love this knife. It doesn't have no thumb studs, so I don't have to worry about that. Again, it's the, pol the bolster design, like the Lambert uh, Shockwave, and it's just a, a real, again, a, a gentleman-y folder look. And uh, I really dig that about these knives. Really love this knife. Super comfortable. Super sharp. Love my Kershaws, especially the 2013 uh, line. Can't wait to see next year's line. That's going to be super awesome. Um, another two of my favorite 2003 Kershaws. The Cryo 2. Absolutely love it. Super comfortable. Super ergonomic. Uh, really, really love this knife. Um... So I, I'm thinking about carrying that or the thermite. I dig this knife. Uh, right now it is stuck in a tip down position because uh, for some reason I can't find the wife's blow dryer. She hasn't used it in a while so uh, I, I got to get it out and try and get this uh, pocket clip switched over to uh, tip up for me. So that's the reason I haven't been carrying this too much and uh, until I can get the pocket uh, clip and the screws in it fixed. I really don't want to carry it too much. Um, the next knife's up here that you see, of course, the amazing Para 2. Love this knife. As you can see, it sees a lot of use. Uh, this knife, I, I can put it to any task and I know it's going to handle it. I love having a knife I can count on with me and that's what I love about this knife. Um, another two that I'm thinking about carrying is a gift from the wife that I've had for a long time. My California Prepper, uh, Benchmade Doug Ritter. Reptilian. Absolutely love this knife. Again, sort of gentlemanly, and I just love it because it has my name on it. Very special to me. I like to carry it on special occasions. Um, next, I was thinking about carrying the blur. Don't really carry this much. Uh, it would give me, like I said, that large tactical uh, folder if need be, and it's a lot lighter than the Myrco Shockwave. So, those are my options on the blade end. Uh, let me see how much time I have on this video. Got a couple more minutes. Um, so please leave in the comments what two or three um, of these larger folders you guys think I should carry tomorrow and I uh, most likely will take your guys's um, you know your opinions and uh, perspective and uh, to help me choose for tomorrow uh, let me show you the rest of my EDC before I run out of time of course you have to have your cellular device love my LG gotta get a new phone now uh, I will have my pen. This is my uh, Kershaw Tactical Pen. Of course, you got to have some shades. These are my body gloves. I absolutely love these shades. I will have my Rayovac flashlight. A little bulky. I wish it was something more like a Superfly's um, little stream light, but it is what it is. Um, of course, I'll have the keys and all of these great things which you guys have seen a hundred times. I will be doing a better video on that here in the near future. Um, of course, got to have a cat. Not sporting Oakland tomorrow. I'm sporting San Francisco Giants, baby. In-laws are a big San Francisco f team. Uh, fan boys. And, uh, hey, I, I like San Francisco too as well. I'm an Oakland Raiders fan uh, in football and a San Francisco Giants fan in baseball. Can you believe it? Uh... Next up, I'm thinking about taking the old uh, Smith & Wesson. Uh, the father-in-law actually encourages me to carry while I'm up there. He actually likes having an extra gun on the premises. So I'm, I'm thinking about taking her up there. So uh, let me know what you think I should do. So that's going to do it. I'm about to run out of time. Happy Thanksgiving. Everybody be safe. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. California Prepper, I'm out of here.